guys, so today I'm going to show you how I painted my Generatex class ship from Romulans for Star Trek Attack Wing. Now, I really struggled with this a little bit because I, I found that the greens were really limiting, but like every freaking Generatex class art that I saw from the show had it like in these greens and I, you know, I really wanted to, to like stay true to the canon, but I've seen some really beautiful repaints of this ship using more creative color schemes, so feel free to go ahead and do that. The whole process is quite similar. Now, because I struggled so much, I really wanted to destroy the ship near the end, so I kind of got creative and uh, pulled out my X-Acto knife for the first step. So, if you wait just a little bit, you'll find out why the first step to painting your Generatix class ship is to put a new blade in your X-Acto knife. First thing to do is to separate this ship using your hobby knife. I'm going to call this the neck of the ship and we're going to press our blade right into it. It may help to turn the blade just slightly to help open up the glue bonds. Do the same to the back of this ship. Next, we're going to press the blade into the front of the nacelle until it feels like we're hitting material. That's a slot notch. Push the blade up a little bit so more of the blade is inside that nacelle and give the blade a twist and it should open. Do the same on the other side. Now that we've got this sucker open and we can actually admire the beautiful details on the inside, we're going to put a base coat on the whole ship. I'm going to use a nice dark green color. This is Vallejo model color black green. FYI, all the paint colors I use are listed in the description below. Once that base coat is dry, we can start painting the details on the inside, which are totally visible when you're looking at the ship from tabletop. I'm going to take some of the Vallejo model color in lime green and prepare it for dry brushing, loading my brush and wiping most of it off onto a paper towel. I'm going to dry brush the detail onto the inside of the ship, starting from the nacelles and pulling it outwards towards the ends of the wing shaped detail. I'm only dry brushing in this one direction and in that way, it'll deposit the paint on the one side of the raised details, as if these parts are catching light emanating from the nacelle. We're going to do it in both the bottom and the top pieces. Once those are done, we're going to take some of that same lime green color, load it onto the brush, and do some edge highlighting on the edges of the details that picked up the dry brush highlight. The sides and the little raised edges closest to the nacelle, essentially. This is fake source lighting, but it's easy and effective, and it'll totally show up. Once you've done that, paint some of the details uh, that are visible on the bottom side of the inside of the ship using colors that'll pop up against the green. I like reds, whites, and yellows for these. By picking up these little details and contrasting colors, they'll show up when you look at your model from the top. Now, we're gonna paint the top. I'm gonna put the coat of black wash on the ship. I used watered down black ink, but you can use black paint that's been watered down or a pre-mixed wash. Don't worry about it getting splotchy. This green should be dark enough to hide it. We're gonna let that dark wash sink into the cracks and hold up against the sides of the raised edges. Next we're going to do highlights in green and the raised details on the top. The first layer is going to be that same base coat we already used and to touch up the top of those details making sure that keep the paint out of the cracks. We're going to now mix equal parts of that black green with a lighter green. This is Vallejo's olive green and paint those on the top remembering that we're watering the paint down quite a bit. Once that layer is dry we're going to straight up use olive green, thin it out to the consistency of skim milk and apply it just to the edges of the wings like we did on the details on the inside focusing the paint on the edges closest to the nacelles. Now the paint, the fiddly details, the little white line on the front of the ship, a little white and the yellows of the nacelles. I'm gonna take some of that olive green along the spine detail of this ship. That's it, and you can totally see the inside from the top. Now glue it back together with some super glue and you're golden. So that's it. Now if you have any comments or questions, go ahead and leave them down in the comments below. I am starting my whole series on tactics. The first video on how to avoid cloak binds will be up this week so don't forget to subscribe to my channel to get like a whiff of that as soon as it goes live. You can also hit me up on Facebook and Twitter. I also post uh, on there when I put up a new video. If you're interested in finding out more tactics, let me know in the comments what you really want to see me do. Until next time, I will see you soon. Certain preferences in terms of what brands I'm kind of constantly reaching for so I'm gonna make those suggestions to you today.